Hello friends myself Arjuna Singh and today's topic of discussion is black art movement that is called bam movement black art movement started around 1960 and it came in full flowering during 1965 when Amiri Baraka established the black art repository theater in Harlem New York so let's discuss what's the theme of this movement Baraka described its theme its goal as to create an art a literature that would fight for black people's liberation it was a black nationalism movement that focused on music literature drama and visual arts made up of black artists and intellectuals so we can say that in literary world this movement gave a voice to black people which was previously dominated by white people african american had always made valuable artistic contribution to american culture but because of racism because of brutality of slavery this contribution often went unrecognized so we can say that the black art movement was an aggressive movement also and it was like a war fighting movement for each individual who was suffering from racism racism is when people think that one color or race is better than another and they treat or mistreat people based on that belief in short we can say that when someone is treated unfairly because of her look his look now let's discuss the important writers and their works amiri baraka born in 1934 considered as the father of the black art movement his birth name was larry jones later he considered himself muslim and changed his name as amiri baraka first he married a white woman but after an active participation in black art movement he divorced her and married a black woman he founded black art repository theater in which play such plays were produced which was in support of black people and which was anti white now let's discuss his work in 1963 he wrote blue people negro music in white america important work and his most important work is in 1964 dutchman in 2001 he wrote somebody blew up america which was a highly controversial work and it was about the september 11 2001 attack where he also says that george bush is to blame almost all of his work is about racism marginalization of black people and also describe hatred between black and white in america and the suffering of black people facing political and psychological conflict later he became marxist and supporter of anti imperialism in 2003 his daughter at the age of 31 was murdered in her sister home this may be result of his active participation in such movements the next important writer of this movement was gwendolyn brook She was the first African American writer who won a Pulitzer Prize in literature for her work Annie Allen in 1950. Her work deals with the personal celebration and struggle of ordinary people in her community. Another writer is Nikki Giovanni. Her works cover a topic ranging from race and social issues to children literature. Lauren Hansberry was the first black American to write a play performed on Broadway. Her best known work, the play A Rage in the Sun, highlights the lives of black Americans living under racial segregation in Chicago.